Hey, it's the first post-game video. Um, I was thinking about how it's sort of funny that the only two levels I couldn't beat on my own were not like the hardest levels in the game, I don't think. I mean, the altar, or whatever, altar, uh, that one was tricky, you know? I, I, I wish I figured it out on my own, but I think I just, I just like didn't, ever even consider the fact that you hop out of the chest. I mean, it was, it was very clever. I, I like that level a lot. I'm kind of sad that I didn't figure it out on my own. But the other one was in Temple, right? And it was like yeah, the last one in Temple. So I, I don't know. It's like, it. I'm surprised that it wasn't, because I was just afraid, it's like, geez, if I, if I mess up the hardest level in Temple, then the void is just going to be literally impossible for me. But it wasn't actually that bad. Anyways, let's try and finish Ublek. There's only two left. Okay. Alright, let's figure out just what's going on. Great, green flame. <laughs> okay, so I just need to get a key in here and open the door. But also, I need something I can... Some way to bring the key up um, this height. Which could be a block or... What else could it be? Or I could flood the room, maybe? Let's see what else is going on. Oh, okay, there's the block. And this weird thing that I think indicates which puzzles have diamonds, probably. Um... So I just need to get that block across and over here. I can make a jar. Oh, and then even that's, I didn't even think about that, but that's kind of good in a way that I have this jar now, because now I just need to get that block in this jar, basically. Um, but I'm not sure how to do that. Hmm. Let me just uh, leave this jar out here for a second just so I can think about something. Because if I... Hmm, if I make that, you know, when I hop in, I have access to this, but, you know, I would need to... I would need something that Okay, and the key is not a problem, just just to think about, I guess, that the key is not a problem. As soon as, when I need the key, all I have to do is, well, actually, I shouldn't say it's not a problem. Because I guess, yeah, how is that going to work, actually? Because I'll need to bring the block and the key in here. Huh, it's actually something to think about, but I'm just going to worry about the block, I guess, at the moment. Um, yeah, so it seems like I would want to bring something inside this, this jar. Could I bring, does this sort of work? Okay, this doesn't totally work, but, because I won't be able to get the key, but I do have a way of bringing the block into here. The only problem is I don't have the key with me, but when I leave this, Oh, no, I'm just over here. Okay. And I can't undo the fact that this oobleck is gone. So may maybe I don't want to make a that oobleck into a jar. I mean, the thing is, I could make that oobleck into this chest instead. It's just that... Oh, you know what? I probably want to start by doing this. Oh, wait. Uh... No, because I was thinking it's like I bring the key in here and then leave through the jar, but I can't do that unless I have a way of... Okay, I mean, I could do this. Like, just drop this off in here leave through a jar, so I, I still have access to the oobleck, but it's not going to do anything. 
Then I could do the same thing here. Leave the key in. Leave through a jar. Now I just need a way... Yeah, now what do I want here? I want to hop into that jar with the block. So if I can copy that jar... Mm. Well, does it work if I just do this? I think... I feel like this works. But I'm, I'm surprised if I've actually figured it out already. Um... in here. I I cannot believe I figured it out that fast. That seemed easy to me for some reason. I don't know. I I feel like I'm I must just be getting the logic of this game more as I play it more. Also there's like oh the you probably can't even see this on the video but there's like a <laughs> I like one single pixel in here that's like dancing around. I think that's just like a glitchy effect, but it's <laughs> never noticed that. It's like kind of weird. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's. Just, I guess let's get move on to the last ooh like conundrum level. Wow, that was. I'm really happy that I just did that, but that was unexpected. Hmm. It was cool. So enchanted key, enchanted chest can't reach the enchanted key. What's in the enchanted chest? Ooh. Wow, and it has this, like, grating. And this is weird because, like, I think if I'm holding something, I could probably throw it over. But then I can't actually get up over here. I was <laughs> trying to do, like, a pixel-perfect jump, but nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I would have to, like, flood the room or something. What's in here? Oh, okay. Wow. I need three keys. And... Yeah. None of those key doors are even enchanted, so I really need three keys. This oobleck will mean if I bring one key into here, I can instantly get two, but... How would I get a third one? <laughs> um... And the only keys I have are enchanted keys. What the heck? Where do I get my third key from, anyways? I'm just wondering... Uh, hmm. Like, is something weird? I just want to see something. So if I do, like... I don't think this works, but just, like, just to see what happens. No, okay. So I was thinking, like, I was thinking that I want to cause a glitch of some sort, but. Because what, what else am I supposed to do here? <laughs> I literally only have access to a jar. I guess I can bring this oobleck out. Oh, I do have infinite oobleks, I just realized. Yeah, okay. Oh, so that means I have infinite keys as long as I can get a block out of here. So I can do... Oh, wait. That's not what I meant. I can... Huh, let me just think. I can get uh, a copy of a jar, which can lead to funny things happening, but that's only if I can, like, 
change the state of the inside of the jar, and I don't, I don't think I can really do that. But let's not worry. I don't think I need to cause any glitches here. So pick this up, and that just becomes a normal chest. Okay. Not enchanted, because having an enchanted chest seems useful, but I can't think of a way. of a way of doing something to, to get anything else over there. If I can keep getting as many Ublex out as I want, I guess that that's that did change the state of it because like I got rid of the flame. So yeah, you can like leave the glitch, but it's just kind of like that. The second jar just had nothing in it. You just had to. You, you as soon as you entered, you got popped back out, basically. Hmm. Okay, so I'm seeing something here. I want to bring something into this jar. Because I'll if I go inside this jar, I pop out here. And I can definitely carry something up here and throw it over. But it seems like the best thing to do to throw over would be the enchanted chest so that I could come out of the enchanted chest. Or, so I go into the enchanted chest and come out there. But, how would I... Oh wait, can't I just do that like over here now that I think about it? Like, can't I literally just do this? Bring this in. And there we go. Now. Okay, well, let's just see. So. Oh. Wait, yeah, because I need something else. Of, okay, wait, no, that's not. Because, well, I mean, I know. That, uh, maybe I should experiment a bit, but I know that I need to get this key eventually. So I, something needs to stay over here, basically. But, okay, but I can go in here. But really, I need to go... How does this work? Because, like, I really need to... <laughs> it's nice that the enchanted chest is over there, but actually, how do I go... <laughs> go... I need to do the thing where I, like... Oh, okay, okay. So, hold on. <laughs> So okay, ju just to just to like set that up again, just so I can mess around with that idea. I know it's not fully gonna work, but just to just to mess around with it for a second. Oh wait. Um. But we need to do something really like this, where I like go into this chest while I'm in the chest so that I I can throw it out and then come out here and now I have access to this and I can 
throw that back over, but take the block with me. Now we can get the key down. And that means I can make, start making more keys, but the problem is like, I, I don't see what the use of more keys is if I need three. Because I feel like what I need to do, yeah, okay, it feels like what I need to do is come in here with the enchanted key, leave it, or have some way of getting to the enchanted key, and then coming back in here with just a, a copy of the enchanted key, turning that oobleck. Yeah, and then I would have two keys plus the enchanted key. Okay, so... So I actually need that enchanted key, so I need some way of bringing it. So the only thing I can get over there is another jar, I think. Because... Yeah, okay, no, and, uh... Yeah, because it's funny that I can get to this again. But I can't actually bring it back unless I had the block. Oh, and I could have thrown the block over. Because the block is actually there. Why is the block there still? Wait, why is the block there? <laughs> now I'm confused. Oh, that... Oh, that's just where the block started. Uh, I'm stupid. Never mind. Um... Yeah, okay, so... I can... What can I do? What if I... I'm just curious. What if I, uh... If I go in here with this... And then I go in here... And leave... Oh, that's what happens? Okay. That's actually interesting, because then... Ooh, what does that mean? This jar brings me down here if I enter it. It's not actually that special. Yeah, like, I, I don't... around but yeah no okay well anyway so let me try something so uh and I bring this in here and um yeah leave oh shoot no I can't do that um okay so the one thing I can do is Get one jar now, get another jar. I could, you know, what's kind of weird is I could like bring this, oh no, I can't do that, All right. But I can get a second jar, which may be useful because what it seems like I have to do is do this setup. Oh, I, I kind of screwed it up. But anyway, I, I, I would do this setup to get this block out of here so I can have access to the key. But I, I would, I needed a copy of, um, yeah, I wanted a copy of the thing. But It's funny, if I had a way of, oh, wait, I just thought of something. I have to try something really fast. Um, 
just it doesn't even matter that this isn't gonna be able to solve the level because I just thought like if I throw that up there, leave and then jump up here and throw it back and then do something kind of tricky. I actually... Wait, why didn't I just drop down... Wait, no, what am I thinking here? What was the plan? <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I mean, I guess it is... This is kind of interesting, because... I can... I can go in here with the block? Oh, but I come out here, right? I mean, I can... Yeah, I was thinking I was like, I, I can use the block, but... What if I, if I just toss that jar? <laughs> oh wait, yeah. Oh shoot, yeah. Because mm. I was thinking, it's like, what if I bring the block in? I could probably copy it, but I can't really copy it because I can't. If I bring it with me, I can't do anything with it. Is there something useful about having the block right here? The only thing I can really do with the block, though, is bringing in there is useless. I could bring it into the jar, but then I'm just kind of in the same. Well, now I'm in this room. Well, I mean, now I can do this, which is... Oh, no, I can't do that. Shoot, no. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to do here. Because... Oh, God, this is confusing. Maybe there's something I can do? I'm thinking... Like... This is confusing, but... I think this does something, I just wanna, I'm just curious. Right, cause look, I have two blocks. Like, because I have two blocks, I can hop over this with a block in my hand? Like, is the goal to, like, have a state of this room, so have a green flame available in this room sort of thing? Or, like, what if I, what if I even, like, this seems really crazy now, but, like... <laughs> Oh god. Right, yeah, how many layers deep was that anyways? But I was thinking if I could exit with this jar, I would have a jar with like two blocks um, and so much other stuff in it. Uh, I feel like that's gonna be part of the solution. Hmm. So I need to get that key down, but I also need to be able to bring it in that very key, the enchanted key, into this chest.
What? It's an enchanted key, so if I bring it in... Okay, wait, hold on. Why didn't I think of that earlier? This might actually work to some extent. Wait, what do I need in which one? This in here? Is that right? Or is it the pot in there? <laughs> oh, shoot. No, I need to bring this chest into here. And then before I do that, I need to jump into it. So I'm just going to try just this setup for now. Because this allows me... I just really, like... Maybe the idea... The weirdest sounding... Um, siren outside my window. Alright, anyway. <laughs> I can bring this key in here. But it stays in here. Because it's enchanted. I'm just coming up here just to bring it down. Um... So, like, that was kind of cool, because now I have sort of access to those, and all I need to do, all I need to do is get that enchanted key into this chest. So... Can't I do that by... Can't I do that by, um... So if I bring this in here... Hmm, wait, that's an issue. Sort of. It's not really an issue. Because all I need to do is go through that flame right there. Doesn't really matter that. I don't know if I want to drop that second one, but... All I need to do is get this enchanted key over this ledge. Can't I do that by just... Like, doing this? And doing the, the thing I did before? I think, it, I think this should work. I don't even think I have to care about anything else. So, yeah. I don't know if this is cheese or not, but like, okay, I just want to pick up the key. Dude, I just want to pick up the key. That's, that scared me for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, because I can even just leave that in there. I could even come out with this and I would still have access to this chest if I want it. But the thing is, now that I have this, I can just throw it down there, bring this key out, go back in, three keys, one, two, three. Well, I don't know if that was cheese or what, it, I, I don't think it was, but I did it. There we go. That's the Ubalet Conundrum. I am surprised how fast I beat those last two. I mean, the second one took a little more effort, but there you go. Um, I think I might actually stop there, though, um, and not continue right into the last tapestry, just because I don't really have a lot of time right now, but yeah, I'm going to move on with last tapestry next. So cool. Um, that's a short one, but I did it. I'd be happy. Uh, and next time, I will check out the rest of the last tapestry. I don't even remember what these this one level I did was. Okay, just just to say, I did so, just this is just like a preview of what's. Oh right, it's the cauldron stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna see the cauldrons next, and the cauldrons are like one-way trips to another room or something like that. Yeah, they just warp you to another room and stuff. Okay, <laughs> they just warp you to the next room in the series or whatever. Okay, screw it. I'll do one of these levels just to, just because now I'm curious. One, and then I'm stopping. <laughs>
I can get infinite keys through that chest. What's in this cauldron, so? This cauldron leads me to this room. So, okay, now I gotta test something. If I leave a key here... Oh, it stays. So then, this is how I can bring two keys. Okay, so... Oh, because, they're, yeah, it's not burning away, so that makes sense. And those should be always unlocked. And now if I want infinite blocks, I just bring this. And keep coming in and out of this until I'm ready. It's kind of weird. Up there it almost seems like a little escape path, but... Um, don't think I could squeeze into that. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll do uh, <laughs> I'll do another one. I, I do have a little time, actually. I didn't expect to be done that fast. Um, but I was happy to have be done faster than I expected. Oh, why would I want to bring a key if there's already a key in here? Well, the, I, oh, right, because those aren't copies. There's, there's only two keys that I can get at the moment. I need to bring them both in here, but... Okay, so this is where I need to understand something, because is it true that if I go in here with this... Oh. Ah. Uh. Because what I was thinking is if I could, um be in this chest and be able to oh wait yeah no doesn't this work okay yeah this should work um the only thing is i just need to bring these keys into here okay i'm <laughs> distributing these key keys in a weird way but now i can bring this jar into this chest and then if i want the keys all i have to do is hop into this cauldron Bring the key, throw it, hop into the cauldron again, bring the key. Because it, it saves the progress of the room. Oh, may maybe I can get... These are... Okay. If I get stuck on one for like 15 minutes, then I'll be like, I'll stop. I was, I was ready to quit, but now I just want to keep playing. Okay. So I can just get that with the block, but then I would have to leave the block behind. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you really have to think in a new way for these ones. Um, so I think probably in that case I want to bring the block in here. So bring this cauldron in here. So that I can get the block without losing it. Get the key. Bring the key. Bring the block. It's weird to like not lose progress every time you leave room. It's, it's, it is very nice. <laughs> then I can even like... Uh... Now how is this going to work? Because... It's like I want to bring something up here, but I need that block now. Huh. If I go through that flame, I come out of the chest, but this cauldron I'm assuming would be totally deleted. What happens if there's a deleted cauldron, but there's another one that still exists? Um, if I come out with it, is, that, is there any use to this? Oh right, because, I don't know, that's just a key. I thought I would have another block. I don't know. I could, what can I do? Wait, what am I doing? I can just reach it. Why did I think I thought I needed the block. Oh my gosh. Sorry. 
<laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm overcomplicating it. Uh, these are just the first levels of the set. Okay, I just need a key in here. Wait, wait, that was weird. What? Oh, okay, so sometimes they don't lead you to another room with a cauldron in it. I thought that was assumed. Okay, so this cauldron probably leads me. But what's interesting is... Can I do this? Can I just literally, like, go... Th Wait, why did I come out here this time? I thought that was supposed to lead me to this room. Huh. That's... In why does it do that? I don't really get why it does that. So, it, like, it leads me... To the next room it can or something? I don't know. The previous... I don't really get it. Do I want to... Do this? So that I can this stuff down here and then I just need to get a key and the key is just in here but then I need to bring this key up but then oh oh but I can leave the key out here go in come out go in here Ooh starting to get a little weird, but I'm still getting it, luckily. Sister. Alright, can I flood a cauldron? Time to find out. I, I imagine I can. No, you can't. Because it's already filled with bubbling liquid. Okay, well, now I know. Oh, these are buoys, 100%. Um, this thing allows me to bring this over. Do it, but okay. Well, I just went down here, which is fine. I think. Um, I have infinite blocks that I could bring into this room. So, I mean, I could create a way of, like, stacking a ton of blocks in that water pit so I can flood and unflood this room whenever I want. But, Actually, I mean, like, why don't I set that up? <laughs> this is the tricky part. Shoot, that's, that's the problem. I hate, I, I'm not good at that throw. It's like, it's kind of silly, because it feels like that's a skill aspect to a puzzle game, which is like, shocking. But, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, like, I, I okay. Like, I just, I think what's funny is that I can do this and I'm being lazy and just, just doing it instead of trying to think of some other way to... There we go. Because okay. now, if I want to get to a dry state... Oh, well, okay. Well, I, I need to prepare it a different way, unfortunately. But... Oh, and actually, if... Okay, just, just noticing something here. If this is... Oh no, okay, I can get the key out. Okay, I can get the key out. And then, where do I want to bring that key? Oh, okay. So let's just see, let's just see what that um, key is. Or what that key does, I'm sorry. So I need a block. Wait, what the heck? I need a lot of blocks. What? What? What's the deal with this setup in here? But do I want to flood this room? Wait, if I flooded this room, wouldn't I be good? Wait, what? Oh, okay. 
But if I could get a few blocks in here, I'd be good. And I do have a method for that. I mean, if I want to make this a little easier on myself, I guess I can just do this. Well, this actually only allows me to bring one block in here. So probably I'd next want to bring this into here. And then bring this into here. And where's my... Uh-oh. <laughs> I lost my chest with the infinite blocks. Dang it. I think. Unless this is how I get to it. But if I do that, how would I get back? So I need to be really careful at this point. Uh, I think I can just do this. Yeah, and then here's my infinite block thing. Oh, what the heck? How does that bring me there? I want to go... Yeah, so I mean, I can do it like this. It's not really ideal, but... <laughs> okay, I'll just do... I don't know. I'm... <laughs> this, is, this is the stupid way of solving this level, I think, but... It's like, when you have infinite blocks, you can get anywhere in a room as long as it's not blocked off by a door or something. But, you know... The world is my oyster. <laughs> this is... I don't know. This is definitely some sort of cheese, but I mean... I, I, I'm fine cheesing this game, personally. Or did I even need to bring that other block? Whatever. Bro. I might actually just end up finishing this set. I'm just screwing my responsibility. What is this? Why is there... Okay, wait, I got really confused there. So, oh, so I'm in... Am I going this chest? Okay, I'm in here. Which is just a room... Okay. If I bring this out, can I get infinite cauldrons? Ooh, what is that? Dude, that's weird. Can I bring this cauldron into itself? And then when I go in this cauldron... <laughs> Null context switch achievement. That's funny. Huh. Well, that's weird. What the heck? So, <laughs> this cauldron is a nothing cauldron? It literally does absolutely nothing. I hop into that cauldron, I hop out of that cauldron. That's funny. My junk culture now, just for fun. I need to bring blocks in here, or I need to flood it. Here's my infinite block room, but to get the block out of the infinite block room. Okay, so then. Seems like I would want to. I could bring this one in, actually. Because then now I can do this. Oh, this should work, actually, because now I can just go in here. Oh, wait. Go in here? Go in here? <laughs> oh god, I'm lost. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait. Can I save this? I brought my looping one into here. Uh, I can bring it back out, but it, this is just... I'm just stuck. I'm just dead. <laughs> okay, I screwed that up. How many blocks do I need here? I think only like two, right? I can do this. So it's... Um, 
think I did want to bring this out so that I can go in here. And this brings me back. This, okay, t so to get blocks out, I want to bring something in there. But now, I need to bring this jar. Yeah, if I burn away this room, this, this cauldron's gone forever. Or is it? Because I just got another cauldron. Oh wait. Okay, I don't think I should have done what I did. Alright, I see. Um, okay, so I think what I want to do then is get a few, like get another one of these, like leave that one, let's say. Take this one. Oh, wait. Take this one into that one. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And then. <laughs> and then do this. Wait. Uh, something like this? I don't know. I'm not really sure how cauldrons work still, which might be might be useful to learn how they work, but like what how did I get that to happen? I, I don't fully understand how cauldrons work. This cauldron leaves me Yeah. Okay, that was weird. The first time I went in the cauldron just led me to that room, because I popped down the center of the room. The second time I went in pop me out of the other cauldron so I, I think like these cauldrons have like a default room they bring you to but when you enter a, a cauldron wait <laughs> yeah okay so the only cauldron I can enter is this one brings me just to this room the only way I can get back to that cauldron is oh so did it just bring me to this room with a call like a, with an exit cauldron that brings me back out from the cauldron i entered from maybe that's the idea okay but if i want the cauldron on the left should just bring me back to that room. This cauldron, though, I can use to do this. The thing is, uh, so, okay, just to check. Oh, I came out here. Interesting. That's not where I expected to come out. Okay, so I still don't fully understand how cauldrons work. Because I thought this cauldron always brings me to that room, but that's not the case. Or sorry, brings me to the, a fresh version of that room, I guess. But what actually happens is when I go in here, it brings me to the center of this room. Then when I enter this, and it causes, like, a chain for the cauldrons, I guess. I hate that the cauldrons all look this- like, this is the, this is another- I wish the chests and cauldrons and stuff just had some sort of marking on them to tell you which one's which. Just even if it's just, like, a- I don't know how it would work. Maybe that's too complicated. But I feel like there must be a way to, like, signify what sort of cauldron or chest or whatever you're looking at. Anyway, so this cauldron brings me to this area with that cauldron, but this one does the same. So these both lead me to that cauldron. So then I want, what do I want even? I, I want to get to this area again. Okay, so like, can I bring this cauldron in here? And now either of these cauldrons lead me no, this one just brings me right back. Why does that happen? I don't really know. <laughs> hmm. 
Just gonna delete this one. Well, I'll do this. If I enter this one, what happens? It's a freaking... <laughs> why? I don't understand why that is. I want to leave this cauldron up here. <sighs> Man, I'm, I'm very lost. Oh, shoot, I just deleted that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, I, I really need to figure out how cauldrons work. It's an emergency at this point. This cauldron is the only one that brings me back here. So I need to bring blocks into this cauldron. To get blocks, I need to go in here, but I need a way of... I would need to bring something with me and then go in there. To bring this cauldron, but that's no good. These cauldrons are just... No context switches, I guess. Actually, I just want to see something. So it doesn't matter how many times I enter that, right? Yeah. Because, why are they like that? Because those cauldrons are the ones that lead me to this cauldron now, I guess. No, wait, what? No. I don't get it. Why do those cauldrons lead me, pop me back out of the cauldron? Because before, those cauldrons were the ones that brought me to this area? Is it those cauldrons bring me to this area, and these cauldrons bring me to that area? So the, this cauldron brings me to the blue area, the other cauldrons bring me to this area, the orange area. Okay, let's assume it's like that. Um... No, I only have one blue area cauldron then. Um, so then what would I want to do to get... Because I need to get two blocks, so I need to enter this chest twice. Oh, I could bring this out here, I just realized. Oh, and now this is a blue area. Okay, so I think I, d I am understanding it. Okay, that's good. Wait, and if I... Um, these are always gonna be cauldrons that lead me to the orange area, I guess. So, um, right, so, both of those lead me to the orange area, um, oh man, I'm getting confused, I had it and then I got really confused. So if I bring this pot in there, okay, I can do this without. Then I have this in here, but when I, oh, can I do this though? Leave the block, leave, yeah, there we go. And then I can repeat that. All right, that was really confusing. <laughs> so I'm still kind of confused. I'm starting to get it more how the cauldrons work, though. 
It was the color of the background that tipped me off. Um, leave it here. I don't even know if this is the best way to do it, but it works, so I'm happy with it. There we go. That was the hardest one so far. Oh man, I don't know how much harder these ones will be, but I kind of want to look at them at least. I do get cauldrons now a bit more. So that's, this is a gray cauldron, this is a blue cauldron. See like, why, why aren't they just colored like that with their smoke or something? Wouldn't that be extremely useful and good? Or is there a reason why that can't be done? It's an orange. That's, okay, so I have, this leads me to orange, that leads me to gray. What is in here? Room with a key. Infinite keys available. I need to bring two keys. So I need a. This is the thing that brings me to blue. So why. Okay, so I can get one key this way. But now I need to get another. The problem is once I go back here, I think I'm in a room with nothing in it. Yeah. But, if I leave this in here and then do that same thing. Leave. And go in here. And then do this. Yeah. See, I, it, if you understand that it's like, I don't know, I don't know. Sometimes this game, I think it's a bit silly. Like, it wants you to learn everything, but it doesn't try and teach you it, which is, I don't like that. I think that this game could do a better job teaching you it. Even if it's just not with words, but just with actions, just naturally. But I feel like it, this game didn't very naturally. There's nothing indicating that those cauldrons bring you different colored rooms, and I've started to like not pay attention to the backgrounds because I just I noticed they've always changed so I just thought like nothing of it yeah I don't know I, I there was there's just so many little things with this game that would make it like a 10 out of 10 for me if it was for like a different way a slightly different way okay so this is just a pair of box type thing so I usually with these I just want to do this a bunch of times in case I need it Backgrounds are really cool though. They're like earthbound battle backgrounds. And what I can do. Oh, wait a second. Let me just see what's in here actually. Even though I know I'm kind of doomed now. Oh, weird. Wait, hold on. Oh god, the first time I go in here, it's it brings me up here. Uh, oh my god <laughs> okay so this chest can bring me up to this ledge okay what the heck all right so if i throw that chest down there then i can just get a key. If I go in this cauldron, I can leave a key, but I can't now get another one. Okay, hold on. Bring this chest, get a key. Hmm, how would I get another key? Yeah, how would I get another key? What the heck? <laughs> I don't understand how I'd get another key. At the moment. I need to bring this chest down, I guess.
Alright, here's one key. The thing is, if I bring it in here, I can use it, but then it's used up forever. That's confusing. Okay, wait. What if... Okay, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have brought the key in the first place, but... If I do this, I can get the cauldron up here with the key. Or with the chest, I mean. Now this chest... Oh, it's a blue version. Which I guess makes sense. But that's interesting, because... Oh... Uh, Okay, yeah. Just gotta keep messing around with this for a bit. So weird, it's like, bring this in here. So th this, yeah. Is there a reason why I would want a blue version of this? This is weird. I have an orange version and a blue version of the same room, kind of, right now. That's the orange one. This is the blue one. But it's a chest. thinking like I just want to test something but this oh wait the chest I'm holding brings me to orange this chest brings me to blue That's so weird oh my god that's weird get how this works <laughs> i think okay i don't need to do anything like that i'm pretty sure so instead let me actually just try solving this um all right well that's not how you start it but i mean it seems like it seems oh wait shoot it seems like i would want to just start off by getting one key question is like how do I bring another key with me because like I can get back up here oh with a pot oh duh right because well now when I enter that Um, <laughs> um, need one more key. Where's this? Oh, that's just the loops me back. Okay. So I think I can just hopefully this works. Oh god. Yeah. Okay, that was a little weird. I think I understood it. But I feel like I could have we could have had like 10 key gates and I could have done it eventually. Okay, let's, I, I think I can get the first half of this set done for the last tapestry. But I have no idea why it's called the last tapestry. This is just a pool. Okay, and 
I'm assuming. So that that's a orange cauldron, and this should be a blue cauldron. Yeah. I wonder. I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna see ones where there's like. Or well, we did see that one where it was orange, blue, and then gray. But I'm assuming we're gonna see more of that in the next set. Huh, keys up there. So I need to flood this room. I don't know why I'm trying to restart. So. Why would I not just want to bring... Oh, okay, because I can bring this chest into this chest, but one, I can't bring the key out safely, and two, this chest would be gone forever if I brought the key out. So it seems like I want to bring this cauldron, the blue cauldron, the one that brings me to blue, into here. So I can do that, like this. Because now I have access to the water and I can get back out. This is it. Shocking that I'm solving it really fast, and it's the last one of the set. Usually the last one of the set is like pretty hard. <laughs> it's like blister, but okay. Maybe I'm just good at cauldron nonsense. I'll take it. Wow, I can't believe I actually got through that in a pretty reasonable amount of time. Okay, but that is where I'm stopping. These, the next half of Last Tapestry is what I'll look at next. Maybe can get it done next time? I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming these will be way harder. But yeah, I guess thanks if you watched. Um, maybe the next one will be the last one. Maybe a couple more. Who knows? It depends on how hard this last set is. Um, yeah. See ya.